Here's a handful of them. They call these Chinese mystery snails. They don't belong in these waters, and park managers say they're a threat. So in order to get rid of these guys, they're handing out these coupons for free ice cream. Noah Sanders is on the hunt. I like looking at snails a lot. His target sitting below the surface of Round Lake. It takes a keen eye to spot a snail amongst the muck. They get extremely big. They go very slow. This 12-year-old had quite the haul today, setting him up for some free ice cream. <laughs> it makes a weird connection, doesn't it? Yes, there's nothing like the tried and true method of sweets to entice good behavior. But in this case, it's also to rid this state park of a bio-invader. The park in Bonner County has fallen victim to the Chinese mystery snail, commonly kept as aquarium pets. Staff here say the snails feast on food that native fish rely on. Now, it's not clear how they got here, but this summer, their numbers spiked. It just seems like it, it just exploded. Park manager Mary McGraw has been at Round Lake for over two decades and never has seen the snails like this. You know, light bulb went off immediately saying, this isn't right. So her idea, a call to action. Bring in a dozen snails to the visitor center, walk away with some ice cream. Maybe we can entice uh, visitors to help us with our problem. This last weekend was the first time the park used the method, and it appeared to work. McGraw says more than 500 snails were brought in by ice cream craving guests. They had no problem dishing out the drumsticks and sandwiches. That was pretty awesome. It was nice not to see them in the lake. For now, it's not clear if this sweet program will return next year. The park says they're working with state agricultural officials on how to address the invasive snails. But for now, they're not complaining. In Bonner County, Taylor Vito, Crim 2 News.